Monday.com is a fantastic work management platform built for all types and sizes of businesses. However, their native time tracking app is limited for growing teams. So my focus today is to walk you through how you and your team can better record and manage time, access valuable insights, billable data and more by using a powerful and seamlessly integrated time tracking app for Monday called 7 Pace. Okay, so with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and launch into monday.com and enhance the way that you track and manage work by using the 7 Pace Time Tracker app. Here we are inside a monday.com workspace. If I navigate over to the left hand side, you can see I'm currently inside Stu's Consulting. This is an example digital consulting agency that we'll be working with today. Also, if you're relatively new to monday.com, what I'll do is add a comprehensive tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. To get an idea of this workspace, if we navigate down here in the first folder, you can see this is where we manage our web design clients. And each of these boards is a client board that looks something like this. We also manage brand strategy clients, monthly consulting clients, and down here we manage our client and supplier invoices. And below invoices, we have a simple CRM. Okay, so with that covered, before we dive into the 7 Pace time tracking app for monday.com, let's quickly take a look at the limited native time tracker that you can find inside monday.com. This is Monday's built-in time tracking solution. Okay, so let's navigate up to this board here, this client, Shampoo King and navigate across this group here and add a new column. Type in time, let's locate the time tracker and here we can see time tracking and just like that we now have this time tracking column added to this board. To add a time entry what I can do is locate a task I'm assigned to and then navigate across and simply click on this play button and that's going to start this timer. As you can see, I've let this run for a bit of time. Let's go ahead and pause this time entry. If I click start again, that's going to continue with that existing time entry. Now, if I click on this entry, that's going to generate this basic time tracking log. Here I can manage my time entries and I can also add a manual session. I want to add a manual session from yesterday, which started at 10 a.m. and I finished that work session at 2 p.m. So yesterday I engaged in and allocated four hours of work on this branding task. So let's come down and add that manual entry. And then we have the option to export to Excel if we like. Let's navigate over to a subtask. Here we have the option to add time tracking to our subtasks. Locate time tracking again and then click here. Now, unfortunately, monday.com's native time tracker is very limited. Yes, you have access to this timer and you can manually add sessions as well as export your track logs. However, it is very basic. You cannot build timesheets, understanding project costs, as well as budget expectations, and you can't get a deep understanding on time spent versus time allocated. This built-in time tracker I only use for personal activities. Also, in order to access the built-in time tracker by monday.com, you will need to have pro or the enterprise plan. Unfortunately, if you're using the basic or standard plan, you do not have access to the time tracker. As soon as you have a team, you need to shift over to a third party app like 7paceformonday.com. So with that said, what exactly is 7pace and why do you and your team need it? Well, as I briefly mentioned earlier, 7pace is a seamless and deeply integrated time tracking app that enhances the way that small and large teams track and analyze time actions. This is all done inside monday.com and across all boards, tasks, and subtasks. Seven Pace as a time tracking tool for monday.com is ideal for small and large teams, as well as growing teams that need a solid tracking tool or that rely heavily on accurate tracking, reporting, and insights. Seven Pace offers a simple way that you and your team can track time versus dollars spent on projects, tasks, and subtasks. Okay, so let's add Seven Pace to our board. Simply navigate up to Monday Marketplace and then type in Seven Pace. Then locate Seven Pace Time Tracker for Monday.com and that's going to take us here. As you can see, Seven Pace is developed by AppFire and is an editor's choice. Now, it's important to know that this tutorial is sponsored by AppFire. I just want to say a big thank you to AppFire for partnering with us on this video and supporting our channel. The team at AppFire have not only developed this powerful time tracking integration, but they also offer dozens of other productivity apps that simply integrate with monday.com. I'll add more details about their other monday.com productivity apps down below in the description if you're interested in learning more. Okay, so back inside Monday, let's go ahead and install this app. Here we can choose to use 7 Pace across all our workspaces or specific workspaces. I'm happy with all, then navigate down the page and then click on install. And depending on how many team members that you have, you'll instantly have access to a 14 day free trial. 
This app is completely free up to two users and then prices increase depending on the size of your team. Now to get started with 7Pace, we have these two options. We can get started with a template or we can start with your own workspace. If it's your first time using this app, I recommend getting started with the template. This template has everything you need to integrate 7Pace with your current workflow. Come down, click on add template and we want to use the full template. This is the workspace that I want to add this template to. And once the app has been installed, you'll be taken directly to the how to guide. If we navigate over to the left hand side and navigate down the page, you'll see the full template down here, which includes the how to guide, as well as these two powerful seven pace time tracker widgets, which we'll dive into shortly. Then we have HR templates as well as project templates. Now, before we dive into these templates and understand the full extent of seven pace, let's navigate back up to our existing projects, our existing boards. And to integrate seven pace with your board so that you can start tracking time across your projects, simply navigate up to a task, then add a new view, type in seven pace, and then locate seven pace time tracker and add to item and click continue to enable. You can see I've already added a time entry here. To add a new time entry for this task, simply click on add time, add the date and duration down here, or click one of these options, four hours plus one. I worked on this task for five hours, and then select if this is a billable time entry, and hit save. And now we can see the total time I've spent on this task is 10 hours. If I click here, I can see my current time entries. I can also edit if I've made a mistake and I can amend that time entry. If I like, I can add a comment, amended time entry, billable, yes, and save. Let's close out of this item, then navigate down to this item here and click on seven pace. And as you can see for this specific task, as well as the subtasks that you can see down here, the total time spent by Emma Garrett is 17 hours and 30 minutes. We can see a breakdown over here and we can see that the six hour time entry was for a subtask. Here we have time on items, blog is a task, and this feature image template, this is a subtask, and six hours were spent here. Now I'm going to navigate up here and click on add time, and let's say today I engaged in two hours of work to review the template that Emma created. This time entry is billable, and save. Time updated successfully. Let's go ahead and expand my time activity and you can see my time entry here for this specific task. You can see how powerful this time tracking solution is. You can easily track, manage and edit time entries across your different workflows and between your entire team. Seven Pace gives you and your team a deep understanding on time spent across your different tasks and subtasks. Okay, so let's close out of this. One thing that 7Pace currently does not have is this physical start and stop button. If you're after a physical timer for tracking your time entries. However, what you can do is use Monday's basic native time tracking app alongside 7Pace if you're after a built-in timer. Next, let's navigate over to the left-hand side and locate 7Pace Time Tracker and these two widgets down here. First, go ahead and click on My Time. My Time allows you to see all the time that you have tracked between all your boards and workspaces. And All Times is similar, however, you can see all the time between your entire team across all boards and workspaces. Within My Time, we can see Weekly, this is a weekly calendar view of our time entries, and you can manually add time entries in here if you like. For example, if I navigate over to Thursday and click here and drag down until let's say 1 p.m., I can then choose the board with the specific task, for example, contact page, and I can make edits to this time entry here if I like. This is a billable time entry and then hit save. If you want to duplicate a time entry, simply click on duplicate, and click the location that you want to add that time entry. This could be a reoccurring task that you engage in weekly or daily. Okay, so I'm going to delete that and delete this time entry. Then you also have the option to click on add time up here and navigate through that same process of adding a time entry. If we click on monthly, we can view our time entries in a monthly view. Then if we navigate over to timesheet, this is where we can manage the billable time entries. Again, you can add additional time entries if you like. Okay, so now that you're familiar with my time, let's navigate down to all times. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance and let's get back to the video. And here we can manage all time entries. We also have these different filtering options 
For example, let's search for Emma, and these are all her time entries. We can change the month or the time frame over here. Let's remove this filter and navigate across. If you like, you can add and manage different views and export your data into a spreadsheet. Now, what I'm actually going to do is come down here and move this section up above my first board so I can access this later. Now, what we want to do is navigate down the page and take a look at this template example and the type of time tracking solutions that you can set up with your own projects. For example, let's go ahead and click on Project Portfolio. Here you can see within this board, we have three projects and you can see the project ID here. These refer to the projects down here. So here we have EcoWeb. This is a new website project. And if we navigate across, we can see a few important elements that will give us a good understanding and insights on the time spent versus dollars spent. This is across our different projects. Here we have the planned budget for this project, the agreed rate, as well as hours planned, 280 hours, then hours already spent and the spent budget. So let's navigate over to this project by coming down to EcoWeb. And here we can see the project details. Now just quickly, let's navigate over to people and let's add myself up here, Stuart and Emma down here, and then change these names. And you can see the roles over here. Again, this is just an example, designer and consultant, and these are the hourly rates. If we navigate over to roles, you can see those rates over here. Consultant, $25, and designer was $30. Now let's navigate back over to this project and let's add myself up here, person, Stuart and I'm going to click status, working on. Now, if I click here and navigate over to seven pace time tracker and add a time entry, let's go eight hours, yesterday, billable. You can now see the planned amount of time for this specific task, as well as the remaining time. Now we can also add other insights if we like. However, we're gonna leave that for now. Let's close this. And you can see across here, hours planned, hours spent, and total hours. Now what we wanna do is navigate down to seven pace time export example. And this data you can set up with your own projects. For example, let's navigate across. Through automations, you can set up total logged hours, the matched person, as well as the rate. Remember we talked about this and the total budget spent. We can reformat this into dollars if we like. Now, if you're interested in learning how to completely set up this board time tracking example and how you can set up automations as well as formulas to populate this data across your different projects, then what I'll do is add the appropriate tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will guide you through the complete setup of this template for your workspace. It only takes about five to eight minutes for you to set up a dynamic and deeply integrated boards with time tracking analysis reports and insights. So again, if you wanna learn how to set this up inside your existing boards, your existing workspace, so you can fully integrate advanced time tracking into your projects, then I highly recommend checking out that set up guide. Now let's navigate over to project overview. And this is an example of a Monday dashboard using the seven pace time tracker widgets. Here you can see total time. Here we have planned time versus actual time spent. We have a time insights report. And if we navigate down the page, we also have these other widgets. You can customize these exactly how you like. Again, simply add widgets from the top left, then navigate down to more widgets. And here you can find those dashboard seven pace widgets. Let's close out of this. And there we have it, that is it for this monday.com time tracking tutorial. Remember, 7Pace is a seamless and deeply integrated time tracking app that enhances the way that small and large teams track, analyze, and understand time actions inside Monday and across all workspace, boards, tasks, and subtasks. Again, I would highly recommend 7Pace over the built-in native time tracker that monday.com offers due to the advanced time tracking reports, insights, and integrations that you can create. The only limitations from my point of view is there's no button timer. The deep integration between 7Pace and monday.com, you will need either the pro or enterprise plan. This is to give you access to formulas that you need to set up a streamlined flow of data between your different boards. Again, if you wanna learn more about 7Pace, I recommend I mean, getting started with 7Pace on a 14-day free trial and seeing if it works for you and your team. Also, as I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in learning more about other productivity apps that you can integrate with monday.com, I will add the relevant resources down below in the description for you to check out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this monday.com productivity guide diving into the 7Pace time tracker app. Now if you have any questions about this guide, this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.